The Duchess of Sussex has alarmed Buckingham Palace staff by retaining her own backroom team from her days as an actor, it was reported last night. Meghan Markle is using a Hollywood agent, lawyer and business manager who are thought to be negotiating a children's book deal for the 38-year-old. Royal insiders claim these sorts of deals would usually be handled exclusively by palace staff. Meghan, who went from Hollywood royalty to actual royalty when she married Prince Harry, is being advised by agent Nick Collins, business manager Andrew Mayer and attorney Rick Gino. Share this article or share Mr. Collins previously worked for the Gush Company, Meghan's former talent agency, which also has celebrities such as Jamie Foxx on the books. Speaking to The Sun, a source said he, Mr. Collins, filters the deals and passes them on to Meghan. A senior royal insider said Meghan's moves are concerning the palace and that her own team seems to have a big part in ongoing projects. The source added that Meghan already thinks the book will be a hit. As a full-time member of the royal family, it would be the expectation for that type of work to be exclusively handled by palace staff who balance individual desire over what's right for the wider institution. It is clear she is wanting to keep surrounding herself with her Hollywood people. That wasn't the expectation. Who is Meghan's lawyer Rick Gino? Beverly Hills-based attorney Rick Gino graduated from Harvard before going to work for law firms who represented Hollywood talent. He is the founding member of law firm Stone, Gino, Smelk and St. Binder. According to the website for Traction Media, a film production company he works with, Mr. Gino represents Hollywood star Sir Ben Kingsley, actress Odia Rush and actor Greg Kinnear. He also represented Vertigo Entertainment, the company behind The Departed and The Lego Movie, the website states. It is also believed that the Duchess could spend some of her future time in the USA. Spokesperson for Buckingham Palace said, Rick, Andrew and Nick have been legal, financial and business advisors to the Duchess for many years during her career in the US and remain friends. Earlier this week the Duchess also hired a top crisis PR firm in a bid to improve her public image following a series of damaging controversies. Meghan enlisted Hollywood heavyweight Sunshine Sachs amid concerns the public has turned on her in recent months. In a significant break from royal protocol, the former actress has brought in the New York-based firm behind the back of Buckingham Palace's own advisors. Sunshine Sachs is among the US's most prominent crisis management firms, but has been accused of employing dark arts tactics to improve the image of its clients. Who is Meghan's agent Nick Collins? Nick Collins is a showbiz agent who built up a list of list of showbiz clients while working at the talent agency Gush. He started at the firm as an assistant in 2005 and was made co-head of talent last year. According to the firm's website, as well as Meghan, his clients include Taylor Kinney, the star of drama series Chicago Fire, Courtney B. The Vance, who appeared in The People v. O.J. Simpson and Megan Boone, who rose to fame in NBC drama series The Blacklist. Like Megan's attorney Rick Gino, Collins is also based in Beverly Hills, California. The firm will likely be tasked with rehabilitating the Duchess's public persona in the wake of several high-profile controversies this summer. Both she and Prince Harry were roundly criticized for traveling in four private jets in just 11 days, despite preaching that citizens should do the bit for the environment. Meghan is believed to be worried about coverage of her supposedly negative relationship with William and Kate. She was heavily criticized for taking four private jets in 11 days despite proclaiming her environmentalism on social media. Sunshine Sachs is reportedly handing plants on the new Sussex Royal Charity Foundation. The Duke and Duchess formed the venture after breaking off from their foundation with the Cambridges, who is Meghan's accountant Andrew Mayer. Money Man Andrew Mayer is an accountant who specializes in handling the accounts of actors and film and TV production company. He lives in the exclusive Homby Hills area of LA, next to Beverly Hills with his family.
according to a recent article in The Hollywood Reporter, Hyde has worked with stars including Alan Pompeo, Catherine Hahn and Alexander Skarsgård. His blog profile states that he cultivates a clientele that includes cast and creative team members from such projects as Big Little Lies, The Big Bang Theory, and The Pitch Perfect series. The Duke of Sussex made an unannounced appearance yesterday at Sandhurst as he attended an army conference where he spoke about the importance of mental health for soldiers. Prince Harry, 34, was one of the guest speakers at the Field Army Health Conference staged at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst alongside former England footballer Rio Ferdinand. Soldier Glenn Hortnober MBA shared a snap posing alongside the Royal on Twitter, writing, back together with the Duke of Sussex as part of the Field Army Conference on optimizing human performance, it comes after a busy week for Prince Harry, who travelled to Amsterdam to help launch Travelist, a scheme that promotes environmentally friendly tourism, Prince. Harry is not snubbing the Queen by declining to visit her at Balmoral as sources insist he sees the monarch more than most other royals be Rebecca English royal correspondent for the Daily Mail it's one of the must-offs of the royal calendar, a long weekend enjoying the charm of summer in the highlands with the Queen. But while most of the royal family have made the long trek to Balmoral this summer, it seems the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have decided to stay at home instead. Yesterday it emerged that, despite rumours they would be joining the monarch this week with the baby son Archie, Harry and Meghan actually have no plans to fly up to Scotland at all. Sources close to the couple insist that the decision should not be seen as a snub. In truth, Harry, 34, only rarely goes up to the Queen's Deeside estate nowadays, although he did spend every summer there as a child. The lure of fly fishing in the Dee, picnics and barbecues in the rain and long tramps through the midge-infested highlands around Balmoral have never held that much appeal. The sources also stressed that now the couple live in Frogmore Cottage on the Queen's estate at Windsor, they see the monarch much more regularly than most family members anyway. Still, the decision will, inevitably, raise eyebrows among those who see Balmoral as something of a royal three-line whip and an unrivaled chance to spend quality time with the aging queen. Charles and Camilla have been staying at Birkhall, their neighbouring estate, for most of July and August, while Princess Ange, the Duke and Duchess of York and the Earl and Countess of Wessex and their children, Louise and James, have all holidayed with the Queen and Prince Philip. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge got a budget flight to Scotland with the three youngsters for a break with the great-grandmother last month. Meghan, 38, hasn't yet visited Balmoral, which was bought by Queen Victoria, although the couple visited both Birkhall and the Castle of May in Scotland with Charles last summer. Instead she and Harry have enjoyed a week-long trip to Ibiza and a long weekend in the south of France with Sir Elton John, flying over on private jets. The couple's new office at Buckingham Palace declined to comment last night. But sources stressed that they had neither been expected to go, nor had Harry been a frequent visitor in recent years. They also denied the suggestion that Harry and Meghan feel Archie is too young to spend time in Scotland. Despite the two foreign jaunts last month, Harry and Meghan have spent much of August working under the radar, it is understood. Indeed Harry yesterday popped up unannounced at Sandhurst, his old military college, to talk to staff and students about mental health issues, and had a similar meeting with the Royal Marines on Wednesday, they have had a very busy working summer, the source said. A lot of work has been going on behind the scenes for the Duke's Travelist Initiative promoting environmentally friendly tourism, which was launched this week, and the Duchess's Smart Works Fashion Project which launches next Thursday, they were back having meetings at Kensington Palace from early August with just two short breaks. In between and are busy preparing for their official trip to Africa, which starts this month, but the privacy-obsessed Sussexes have been under fire for taking four private flights in 11 days last